Hello, I'm Bill Booz. Today I'm going to show you how I have uh, become enthralled with making bread. A few years ago, uh, my wife and I were visiting friends in Richmond, and uh, Margaret served a loaf of bread that she had made, and we were wild. Ma Marianne had, uh, my wife, had actually uh, read about Mark Bittman, who's a, a food critic for the New York Times, uh, and his uh, discovery of uh, Jim Leahy of the Sullivan Street Bakery in uh, Hell's Kitchen, I think it is, in New York. And Jim had become a real student of bread. Um, the process is uh, incredibly easy, and um, Marianne, although always a great cook, uh, became quite the, the bread maker of the family, uh, where we have bread, um, you know, sometimes two loaves a week. Um, variations on that have, have uh, been excellent, but just a basic white bread or uh, whole wheat bread is very simple to make and uh, delicious to have. We no longer buy bread from the store. Um, recently, uh, Marianne had surgery, wasn't able to make bread, wasn't really able to cook, and so she showed me the, the ropes. She'd always told me it was easy, but I was flabbergasted with just how easy it is. And so in this video, I'm going to take you through the process of uh, putting together the ingredients, four simple ingredients. This was in a video that Bittman did with uh, Leahy in 2006. It's on YouTube. You can search it. I also have a link to it. Um, and uh, there's some variation on that. We've since bought Jim Leahy, my bread book. Um, and the, the ingredients are simply three cups of flour, one quarter table or teaspoon of yeast, instant yeast, uh, one and a quarter teaspoons of salt, mix them together, add about a cup and a half of water, let that uh, uh, rise in a sealed bowl for uh, 12 to 18 hours, we usually do it for 18 hours, and then take it out and uh, wrap it in a towel, to dust it with flour, you know, move it around a little bit, uh, I don't know all the terms, and um, wrap it in a towel and in an hour and a half set the oven on to 475 heat up a, a pot which you'll see in the video um, a cast iron pot with the lid and in a half an hour take that out so the bread is right has raised a second time for two hours and uh, just dump it into the bowl into the uh, pot put the lid back on cook it for 30 minutes at 475 take it out take the top off put it back in finish it off for 15 plus minutes until it's a nice golden crispy uh, color. Uh, couldn't be easier and couldn't be more delicious. So I hope you'll enjoy this uh, my, my rendition of the Jim Leahy bread making process. Leahy's uh, recipe really became uh, famous when uh, Bittman introduced him in a video in 2006. Um, and in 2009 he came out with the book that you're seeing now. Uh, it really is, is an incredible process. Uh, three cups of regular flour, you can use bread flour if you want, a quarter uh, teaspoon of yeast, one and a quarter teaspoon of uh, salt, and two and a half, or one and a half cups of water. So here we are uh, going for the flour, which we now buy in 25 pound bags. Uh, scooping out is a lot easier than carrying into the kitchen. So we scoop it out into the bowl, all three cups, uh, more or less, and um, it's really pretty accurate. Uh, and then uh, I take it into the kitchen and start the process of adding the um, uh, other two main ingredients, the, the yeast, a quarter of a teaspoon of yeast, and the uh, uh, teaspoon and a quarter of salt. Um, I mix it up together a little bit before I put any water in, and, and, and the water is uh, one and a half cups. Uh, I mean, sometimes I need a little bit more, it just depends. Uh, I recently watched a video with Leahy and Martha Stewart. They were using carrot juice instead of water, so it gives it a whole other dimension to do that. So there are a lot of experimentation that can go on, a lot of experimentation that has gone on. And uh, I encourage you to do a, a search on YouTube or in Google or Jim Leahy, My Bread, and see what you get. There are a lot of different spin-offs, uh, a lot of different um, uh, recipes that have grown out of this, but the, this one's solid. And uh, as I said, we, we let it sit for 18 hours in the first, uh, for the first rise, and he, he recommends 12 to 24. Uh, the, um, 
So it, it does take a bit of planning to make sure that you have put things together when you know you're going to need a loaf of bread. If you make one every day, then it's not a problem. But uh, we typically, uh, well, now that I'm making them, we probably are making them every other day or so. Uh, they're great for gifts. Uh, people are terribly impressed. We go to Sam's and buy a quantity of white uh, uh, cloth um, uh, dish towels uh, that we wrap them in uh, when, when we're when we're making the uh, when for the for the second rise, um, and also we give them away as gifts. In fact, for Christmas, that was our neighbor gift. We gave bread to all of uh, our neighbors. So there we are, putting in uh, a cup and a half. I usually put about a cup in and then mix it around and, and add some more. Um, it w work it. You know, you can also do this with your hands. Haven't tried that yet. I, I probably need to tr need to give that a shot. And we use this uh, heavy uh, rubber plat uh, spatula, and it seems to work quite well. Um, you know, there are lots of tools that you can use, and uh, one day I'll have to do a tour of a kitchen store and see what I'm missing. But uh, this is what Marianne used, and it works quite well. Um, so once we get a, a glob of uh, dough mixed together, then we just, uh, I, I, I stamp it out, probably breaking some rule by doing that, and, uh, and then it's, it's ready to sit and wait for its 18-hour uh, rise. You know, as a novice at this, I guess I'm a little, uh, a little anal about what I'm doing with the uh, the dough, and then we uh, we cover it with uh, a plastic wrap, uh, a clear plastic wrap that seals that bowl and gives the uh, allows some condensation to build up inside the bowl and for the yeast to to work, and um, and the whole uh, mixture then is ready to go, 18 hours from now. Alright, 2.56, uh, 4 minutes before 3. Uh, this is the next day now. The dough has been sitting for uh, 18 hours and you can see it's got kind of little bubbles in it and it has grown in size. Uh, I've, uh, Marianne does it directly on the counter. I've come to use this breadboard. I, I like uh, the cleanliness of it. And uh, I spread out a little bit of um, dough. Uh, I get about a cup, a little less than a cup of dough. Make a circle or so where I can pour the um, Right onto that uh, board, and you need to work a little bit. But the whole idea is no need, so you don't really do a whole lot. As you, as you pull it up, you'll see these. It, it, it's like fibers coming from the top of the bowl. It's it's quite quite interesting, and um, yeah, you work it out. And that's where this spatula comes in handy. There's a tool that you can use uh, that probably is a little more efficient. Um, I, you know, I got some of my fingers there, and it's uh, going to drive me a little bit crazy. But I ah, don't want to waste anything. So we roll that up on the, the, the dough, uh, that rather we roll the dough up on the flour and uh, uh, then, then you bend it over you know, from the back, bend over, uh, fold over a little piece and fold over another piece, just like you're doing it, folding clothes, and then from the left and from the right, uh, or I guess I'm doing it from the right and then the left, um, and then turn it over so that the, the seam side now has flour. This is my approach to it, I, you know, when Lee does it is, you know, he does it. It's all done. Um, and uh, got it covered with, with flour. Um, and then once it's it's ready, then you need to put flour on the uh, cloth. First of all, you have to get a cloth ready. I'm a little more prepared now than when I did this video. I had the cloth already ready to go, uh, or the dish towel. And folded, uh, you know, these are large dish towels, so I fold them in half. And uh, I decided there that I'd I, I could conserve on flour and just move, pick up the, uh, the the bread, and move the flour over the other side of the breadboard, um, and now I can just use that flour I was using to coat the um, first impression of the of the dough. Use that on the on the uh, cloth. Uh, I've skipped ahead a little bit here, and in, in, uh, got a nice circle for that. And I'm uh, I, again I'm like a little bit of a obsess, so I'm going to fold it some more. And he says put the seam side down. So that's what I'm doing. And as we pick it up now, we'll put it onto the onto the um, dish towel, into the the dough, the uh, flour, 
And now a little bit of extra flour that's on the board we're using to cover the top. The whole key here is to cover it with flour or he's used several other different things. Uh, I don't remember what they were. But so it doesn't stick to the, um, the towel. And it, in my first uh, attempt at this, that was awful. It stuck right to the towel and I was peeling it off. It probably took me forever. So now you let it, um, what I do then is I set the timer for 90 minutes uh, to tell me that in 90 minutes I need to set the, turn the oven on to 475. Let it heat up for about another half hour uh, in this uh, uh, enamel uh, pot with a top. And we have different sizes and the small one makes a nice kind of round loaf as you'll see. We have a little bit larger one that lets it spread out a little bit more so it's a little bit, uh, it's not as high and uh, makes it a different shape of bread really. Um, and then at the end of uh, 30 minutes I uh, take the pot out of the oven, it's extremely hot. Now I put a, 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 a heat resistant uh, slab on the counter. And uh, now comes the hard part. This is the hardest part for me, is getting the bread out of the, uh, the dish towel into the pot. I'm both, two things, I'm scared I'm gonna burn myself on the pot because it's very hot. And I'm afraid that it's not gonna come off the, uh, the towel very easily. You can see here, we got a little piece that's kind of sticking, but it, it, it freed up, it was all good. So I've gotten better about putting enough flour on the towel um, and then I use that towel later to cover the bread after it's been um, after it's been cooked, um, unless I've really made a mess of it. As you can see there, that's just sitting inside the, the pot. The pot will mold it, and uh, when we put the top on it and cook it for 30 minutes, it's going to create this this vacuum like a Dutch oven, uh, a vacuum just like a, a baker's oven, as uh, Leahy says in his uh, video. Um, and so at the end of 30 minutes, we take the top, we need to bring the, the uh, pot out, again, really, really hot, and take the top off, put that off the side, and then you can see it's already starting to form and it's already beautiful. So now we're going to cook it for another 15 minutes and uh, let it brown up on the top. Uh, again, Leahy says 15 minutes or more. It might, it, it might need more. It's all going to be varying too on, on your altitude and your your oven and the whole whole bit. Okay, so now we have this great bread board that we're going to put the bread on. Uh, I've gone to the oven and gotten the um, pot out and uh, I need to close the oven and turn it off. Turn that uh, over and we are finished. So here is our finished product. Um, a crispy loaf of homemade bread took nothing but your patience to wait for it to rise. Um, and there we are. <laughs>